our channel hi you guys hello oh yeah make sure as you're dropping in you're letting us know where you're watching from um uh, let us know where you're watching from tell us what you're grateful for smack that subscribe button we got this yes hello everybody How's everyone doing? How is the family? Oh, okay, that lighting is really weird. I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, Tazzy, don't do that, buddy. I'm here for my joke. Oh, you're here for your joke. Okay, he's, he's here for his joke. Okay. Okay, um, hold on. Hold on, jokester. Let me introduce us, okay? Jokester. Jokester. Jokesters. Yes, the jokesters. <laughs> yes, make sure you smash that like button as you're coming in. Subscribe, hang out with us when we're here live every one, a couple times a week now, right? Mm -hmm. That counts, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you're new here, my name is Tia B. Stokes. I'm a mother of five, Major Legend Maze, Taz, and Rose. Did you Who are say you? Maze? I said Mace, and I said Taz. I'm married to the handsome Andrew Stokes, and 515 days ago, I was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia. I am currently in remission, so smash that like button. We like that, huh? We like remission, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's right, that's right, that's right, get it right, right. Uh -huh. get it right, get it right, get it tight, get it right, get it right, get it tight, get it right. <laughs> yes, and tonight I have some jokesters in the house. Oh. But aren't you going to tell a joke? I have to welcome, we have two, sorry, this lighting is so weird. My ring light keeps going off and on, keeps making it really look really weird, so... Um, but I have two little jokesters in here. Their names are Maze and Taz. Hey. Oh, gross. Excuse me. <laughs> gross. <laughs> Taz, excuse me. Excuse, excuse me. me. Okay, so first jokester. No. Oh, you're not telling a joke tonight? Okay. I am. Oh, but, but they can't see you. <laughs> Sit on my lap so they can see you. Gone. That's what I was trying to do is put you on my lap so they can see you. See, there you go. Okay, okay. Maze is up first. Okay, Maze, take it away. What do you call a clown that doesn't have a nose? What do you call a clown a nose. that doesn't have a squeaky nose? Not funny. <laughs> that was hilarious. That was good, Maze. Give me some. That was awesome. Here, here's another joke. Oh, he's okay. got another one. Okay. What do you call a clown that got his uh, clown nose stolen? What do you call a clown that got his clown nose stolen? What? <sighs> hey, that's not funny. Because you get it, he takes the nose and he... Clown says, hey, not funny. Hey, not funny. That was good. Give me some. You come up with those all on your own. You're such a jokester. I know. I love it. Okay, you have some, Taz? Yeah. Okay, Taz. Taz is up next. This lighting is so weird. I don't know why it keeps doing that. There we go. Okay, go ahead. I look up a lion with no nose. What do you call a lion with no nose? What do you call a lion with no nose? What, they say. Uh, hey, that's not funny. Hey, that's not funny. <laughs> Good job. Uh, I don't 
Oh, yeah. you have another one? Yeah. Okay, he has another one. I'm trying to fix this lighting. That's ridiculous. Redonkulous. It keeps messing with our... Okay, go ahead. Do you have one more? We have a cow with no head. No, with no ears. What, do you have a cow with no head? No, with ears. Oh, with no ears? Yeah. What? Uh, that's not funny. That's not funny. <laughs> that was good, Taz. Give me some. You're awesome. Say I'm awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, we are crazy. Thank you guys for tuning in with us when we are here. I excuse my camera. I don't know why it keeps doing that with this ring light that I have on. I have no idea. So if anybody knows why it's doing that, why it keeps making me look weird. It is so weird. Look at that. Okay, watch. Boom. 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 That's so weird, right? It's like I have to keep my hand here to keep the light away from my face. Um, magic. <laughs> Something. Holy cow. Oh. Okay, so I had a few um, people ask. So today was a big, well, today isn't actually the big day. Tomorrow is a big day. We are launching, I know, can I put something next to it? Oh my gosh, look at that. Isn't that so weird? Why does it keep doing that, you guys? Sorry, I don't want to be annoying, but it's like not very cool to look at my face when it's bright. Maybe go like that. Okay. Is that, see? Oh my gosh. It's still like, I'm even covering up some of the light. I'm going my new shoes. Oh, you're going to show me new shoes. Okay. Oh yeah. Taz got some new shoes. They're pretty cool. Pretty awesome, huh? And this one. And this one. This white one. Yep. And then these ones we got from Target. Yes. We love Target. Yep. Uh huh. Today I got a, I got ten picks. So cool. Today okay. I got ten picks. Try doing me a favor. Um, unplug that and then plug it back in. Lower the brightness. I'm trying to lower the brightness. Okay, now turn it back on. Turn it back on. It's just like this light is maybe not that. Oh, okay. Is that better? Is that better? I think that's better. I think we found, that's good, Maze. Good job. Okay, so today is a, uh, tomorrow is an exciting day because we have a big launch. I was able to, um, I was able to uh, collaborate with another shop with Love Olive, which I'm super excited about. And um, I shared some of the pieces on my Instagram, but um, today was, kind of, we did like a little giveaway on Instagram. So if you haven't entered the giveaway, go enter it. And then tomorrow at 11 a.m., we are launching the collection that I put together with Love Olive, which is so cute and so exciting. And what I love about it is that it's all inclusive. So sizes go from extra small to 2X, um, but they're just so, so, such cute stuff. So I love, I'm excited about it. So. One thing I wanted to talk about tonight was opportunities, was taking opportunities, opportunities, not the opportunities that we usually talk about. Usually we talk about, you know, the trials and hard times that create opportunities for us that we turn into, instead of looking at, looking at trials and hard times as trials, <laughs> we look at it as like an opportunity to grow and to become better and to become um, more like our Savior Jesus Christ and to become, become stronger and to become who we're supposed to be, right? 
Um, but this opportunity I want to talk about is taking things that are new and out of your comfort zone. Lately, lately, since this cancer journey, as you guys have seen, you guys have been a part of my, hold on, baby. I'm talking real quick. Okay. Okay. Um, Mace, will you take him down to go play, please? Thank you. Um, with this cars, um, lately, if you guys have been on this journey with me since the beginning, you've seen me. Uh, you've seen every inch and every craziness of my life. Um, you've seen me go from super, super sick to now I'm healing and recovering and dealing with all the after cancer stuff. But the cool thing about it that's happened is just so many cool new opportunities like speaking, like doing a lot of speaking events and um, being able to go out and share my story and be able to talk to the youth and talk to um, women and be able to share my testimony or my experience or my upliftment or whatever it is. Like that's been a huge, crazy opportunity for me because I never thought that that would be something that I'd be doing. As well as like joining in with these um, like shops, doing these, um, doing these awesome like collabs with shops where I get to create my own collection with them. Um, honestly, and if I'm being totally honest, uh, I, I'm not, I may come off as like 100%, 200% confident in who I am and what's going on in, in, in my life, but I too struggle with insecurities. I too struggle with, with um, thinking that I'm good enough and if I look good enough or if I'm gonna do the right thing or if I'm gonna say the right thing or I'm not, um, sometimes I'm not intellectual, I'm not, I don't know what it's called, educational enough or intellectual enough to speak to people. And so I struggle a lot with like, I get major like anxiety when I have to do new things like that or when I have to go out and you know, speak or when I have to try on clothes and model them. Like the, those, these are not things that I'm just like, oh yeah, I'm just so comfortable. Like I do it because I want to continue to show up for myself and for to show other people that we can keep showing up, that we can push through those insecurities and we can push through those insecurities that are opportunities for us to become stronger. And I know as we push through those insecurities and we step outside of our box and we push ourselves outside of our comfort zone, we're able to grow a little bit more every single time. I truly believe, I tr like every time I come out of a new opportunity, I feel like I've grown so much in a different way, like in a different way completely. Even now, like even lately teaching dance, like doing choreography on my team and teaching dance has been another insecurity of mine because I haven't done it in forever. And I'm not, I, I don't feel like I'm as good as I used to be. And I don't look as good as I used to be. I don't move as well as I used to move. So for me to go in to teach my teams or teach, I have a little bit of insecure. Like these are like, oh, like, I wish you guys, I hope you can understand, like, like I am, but I push myself because I know that staying in my comfort zone and staying in my box is not going to help me grow, is not going to help me further who I want to become and who I can become. You know what I mean? So my, like, I just want you guys to remember to step outside of your your box, push yourself outside of your comfort zone, whatever it is that you're, whatever new up, whatever, if you get a new opportunity for an, a new job that's outside of your comfort zone or, you know, meeting new friends or going, or you have to go speak somewhere or you're asked to model clothes or whatever, like take those opportunities and run. Like I'm, and I'm going to continue to try to do them too with you guys. <laughs> Ah, oh, you guys, seriously, I like, I know you guys see me on social media and you think, oh, she's so confident and she's this and she's that and she can just dance like that. Like, no, it's because I want to show, if I show up, 
I hope that others will continue to show up as well. I hope that me continuing to take new opportunities and push myself, that I'm showing others that they can push themselves as well, that they can step outside of their box and try something new, that we don't have to, um, we don't have to stay scared and stay the same. Like we can continue to grow in every aspect of our life. And I want you to push past those insecurities, whatever your insecurities may be, whatever it is, like take that insecurity, that opportunity, your insecurity is an opportunity to push past it. And whenever it's just like an obstacle course, like, or like if you think like a mud run or something like that, like something hard, when we get through something hard, we feel good. We feel rejuvenated. We feel like, wow, I did something. We boost, we boost our confidence. We have, we, you know, we overcame something hard that it helps us to feel better. And we're able to help others along the way. You know what I mean? And at the end of the day, that's our ultimate goal is to help others and at the end of the at the end of my day like i hope i'm helping others see their potential and see their um what they can do to push past their insecurities and to be able to really step outside of that box because it's not fun living inside of that box like it's not fun living inside of that box so get outside compliment other people try on a different type of outfit um, go do that speaking. If someone asks you to speak, go do it. Say yes. Say yes to new opportunities. Say yes to new opportunities that will only build you, push you out of your comfort zone and make you a better you. I promise you. I love you guys so, so much. I'm grateful for you. Thank you for watching my channel. I know you don't have to be here, but you're choosing to be here. Um, thank you for being a part of my journey. Thank you for just loving my family and for accepting me for who I am and for letting me be me. Um, I really, really just, I love my family here and I'm so, so grateful. Um, I'll probably end up, end up seeing you guys later on this week. Uh, maybe tomorrow. If I'm, I do teach tomorrow, I teach Wednesday, I teach Thursdays. Uh, but just know that I'm pushing past my insecurities along with you. We can all push past our insecurities to grow and to become better and stronger and develop and to become who we're, we are meant to be. I love you guys so much. Thank you again. And with that, I will leave you guys with a word of prayer. Our dear, kind, gracious Heavenly Father, we're grateful for this beautiful night. We're grateful for all these amazing people that come and join me. And we're so grateful for our opportunities in life and for our insecurities that we're able to challenge ourselves to push past them so we can be able to shine our light and be able to glorify thee. We know that when we're shining our light that we are glorifying thee in heaven. And we are so grateful for the opportunities that thou has given us to be able to become stronger. And we ask a special blessing upon Jojo that she may be able to fill of our love and be able to fill of our spirit and fill thy comfort as well as Cambria as she's healing that she can be able to fill thy comfort as well and and that her pain will be able to subside and we're grateful for um, all those that have shown us how to be better and to become stronger and we say thank you and we say these things in the name of Jesus Christ amen amen you guys aloha means hello goodbye and I love you good night